In this video guys, I'm going to show you how to create print-on-demand designs, text-based and graphic-based using AI. Previously, this was not possible and it is still not possible with Midjourney. It doesn't give you correct results, the text looks all smudged up, but this new AI tool called Ideogram has solved the problem. So I'm going to show you guys how to create graphic and text-based designs with AI using Ideogram. And I'm going to also show you how to remove the background and vectorize that design so that you can use it however you like for your print on demand business let's dive right in i'm here in merch dominator bestsellers just checking out some designs that i want to emulate and um, let's go with this one right here axolotl questions so we're going to recreate this design right here completely with ai let's see how ideogram does so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to google and type ideogram.ai and then register with your google account and once you're in you're able to see the trending designs from the community etc one thing you can do is you're able to get the prompts from them to see how the designs turned out and what prompt they used to create those designs and then change them up a little bit um, to suit your style and the thing that you're trying to go after and keep trying and if you want to create a design you simply have to describe what you want to see so give it a prompt give it an instruction of what you want to see so for example i put vector t-shirt design vintage retro sunset distressed black style design a cute axolotl with text I ask a lot of questions typography etc etc and then you want to play around with these so I can put typography I can do 3d render animate whatever you want again depending on what you're looking for and this is what I was able to get pretty decent results actually um, out of all of those I'll probably use this one it looks pretty good this one is not bad however that space is too big here but it's still usable though I like the way that the T looks pretty good here let's try a different one it's waiting to start i got the inspiration from this one so let's see if it gives us some decent results guys it looks like it's going to give us some nice results here i could totally use this one even this one looks good that is insane that's actually pretty good the mouth mm, not sure about the mouth but the overall design looks decent even this design is good all right i'm gonna get inspiration from this design right here let's see what we can get so I just changed the main design to Hispanic elements and then I added text National Hispanic Heritage. Click on generate. Again, you can play around with different styles. Keep regenerating until you get the style that you're looking for. It says generating. Let's see, is it going to be any good? It looks like it's going to turn out nice, guys. This is pretty good. I mean, look at that. That is decent. This one flopped, if I'm honest. And then you can keep generating and generating until you're happy with the style that you get. So now I'm going to go to the designs that I generated and I'm going to show you how to remove the background and how to vectorize that design so i need to go to me and let's say i'm going to download this one right here click on this button right here to download and then go to this platform called clipdrop.co where we're going to remove the background completely for free with ai you can either go to tools and click on remove background or come down here and click on this right here to remove background so now you want to drag and drop this design and you want to remove the background and that's it done you can edit some imperfections here so we've got some black over here that we need to remove just go to edit and click on clean up imperfections I'm gonna make it bigger change the brush size etc and then click on clean you might want to spend some time cleaning the background I can import it back to merge dominator designer and clean up the background that way it's pretty easy click on download again this is not going to be an issue with all of the designs some designs can be difficult to remove the background from so I'll just go to tools on Merge Dominator go to designer click on file new and do 4500 by 5400 transparent background and click on create now we can drop our PNG make it bigger as you guys can see it's not perfect and now because I don't want to do a destructive process I'm going to create create a raster mask so click on here go into the mask make sure that my brush is in black because when our brush is in black basically deletes using raster mask and if it's white then it puts back the image as it was let me show you an example I'm gonna go to my brush and I'm inside the mask if I brush like that then I'm removing this bit I don't want to do that I'm gonna undo what I just did perfect I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make my brush smaller. I'm going to add a bit of feather to my brush. I don't want it too hard. So yeah, I dropped the hardness to about 50%. And basically, I can delete everything like that. Actually, I'm going to drop the hardness to zero. 
and I'm going through it. I'm deleting anything that is black. I can see that I took off a lot of black here. So I changed the color to white and I'm going to put bad design like so, as you guys can see. Perfect. That looks better. I think that's much better. Maybe sort out this imperfection here. Just brush it off like that. I think that looks much better now. I can sort out this area as well. Okay, this looks much neater. Now I'm going to show you guys how to vectorize this to import it to Illustrator or whatever you want. First of all, let me go to File. I'm going to save this as a PSD for my future use if I want to. I'm going to export it as a PNG. So just go to Export as PNG, give it a name and click on save. Now let's check the difference. This is the one that we got with all these imperfections and this is the one we brushed up a little bit with Merge Dominated Designer guys. Now my next step is to actually go to vectorizer.ai and I'm going to vectorize this design. I'm going to drag it over here. Let's click on OK. This is the vectorized results and this is the normal image. Now, if we zoom in, guys, that looks so much nice. Look at that. So good compared to this. This is very, very soft and this is really, really sharp. So now I'm going to download, play around with the settings and check the ones that work best for you. Personally, I'm just going to go with default and click on download. So now we have an SVG that we can open with Illustrator, for example. There it is, guys. Let me copy it and paste it here. As you guys can see, it's all vector and I can scale it however I like. And it still retains its shape. It retains its sharpness. I can just group it and play around with it however I like. By the way, guys, if you'd like to subscribe to Merch Dominator, there's a 50% discount right now on both the monthly and the yearly. The yearly option gives you two months off on top of the 50% discount, so check it out. And if you guys need a Merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase. I'll also leave you below a crash course for Merch by Amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches, a link to check out my full ultimate Merch by Amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush Merch by Amazon. And if you guys don't have time to do niche research, I'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service. Have you found this video valuable? check out this video right here if you want to learn how to start a print-on-demand business for beginners thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video